And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Chris Boyd has questioned Ange Postogoglu's comments about VAR and referees. In his pre-match press conference ahead of facing Kilmarnock, the Celtic boss took aim at officials over the lack of consistency in their decision making. Postacoglu was responding to a question about Connor Goldson's handball during the Old Firm on Monday, and he even insisted Celtic should have been awarded a penalty. John Beaton didn't point to the spot, and VAR official Willie Collum didn't intervene, and Rangers legend Chris Boyd has pointed to IFAB rules and suggested the decision was correct as Goldson was protecting his face. Boyd claims there would have been a full-scale meltdown had Kyogo not equalised, and he has accused Postogoglu of playing up to the Celtic fans who feel the world is against them. Chris Boyd says, Drawing 2-2 was bad enough for some Hoop supporters and their media cheerleaders. Had they actually lost to Rangers, would be talking about a full-scale meltdown. Ange Postogoglu and even chipped in, claiming everyone would have been up in arms if the spot kit incident had been at the other end of the pitch. Let's get it right, this is just another attempt to keep Celtic supporters riled into believing the world is against them. Let's conveniently gloss over the fact the rules of the game state the handball incident with Connor Goldson is never a penalty. Honestly, some of the guff that's been talked about and written in the past week by people who should know better has been staggering. Boyd insists he's sick and tired of conspiracy theories and has even detailed his fears referee safety. He added, To claim our game is corrupt is baffling beyond belief and when you think they have been the dominant team in Scotland over the last decade, some people get it into their heads that our referees have allegiance to certain clubs. They seem to forget that a huge percentage of players who play in Scotland support Celtic. Why do they feel they would run out at Parkhead, roll over? Of course not. I'm sick and tired of these conspiracy theories that get banded about by Celtic fans and former players. Do some people genuinely believe the game is rigged? Maybe we should just let Celtic win everything. Our referees would then be able to sleep at night without worrying about some idiot attacking them in the street. Because I genuinely fear that's where this is all leading to. On Chris Sutton, he added, My big pal Chris Sutton is always blaming someone. Remember how he accused Dunfermline's players for lying down to Rangers on the last day of the 2002-2003 season. He wasn't moaning about penalties as Celtic lost the title when Ann Thompson got one and booted it over the bar against Kilmarnock. I'm sick and tired of the conspiracy theories that get bandied about by Celtic fans and former players. Rangers fans, what do you make of Ange Postogoglu's and Chris Sutton throwing their toys out to the pram following the old firm derby draw? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.